Uh, welcome back to Data Analytics Ireland. Today we're going to talk about database tables and joining different tables using the primary keys. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and like and please share. So, what's it all about? So, you're going to have a scenario where you're going to have data spread across a number of different tables. So, what would the reason be behind that? It's pretty simple. You don't want to have data duplicated um, across different tables. So how you, how you achieve that is you join tables, but you would use the primary key, which allows you, which is unique and allows you to basically identify the records which should have the same same identifiable information across tables. So very simple example, if you have as a customer, you might have a customer with um, basically their purchases, okay? So they might be purchasing products to your business or your website. But each time that customer makes a purchase, you don't, you're not capturing the say their, their name or address or the amount or anything like that. But specifically the name and address are pretty much gonna remain static. So what you're gonna have is basically two tables. You're gonna have the purchase table with the unique customer identifier. And then you're also going to have a different table, which is say the delivery address, for example. And in that, in that instance, those two tables will actual fact have the same unique customer identifier and you join them tables on that, those, that unique number. So today we're gonna to just take you through some examples of this, how you do it, the different types of way to join, because there's different ways, and then basically we'll do a summary at the end, okay? So essentially um, what we have um, here, on, uh, we have two tables called, we have customer and we call sales, okay? Uh, once I run this code now in a second, you'll actually see the information on it. But what we're trying to do is do the first scenario is doing an inner join. And the whole idea behind an inner join is it just brings you back to what's common about tables. So what you don't what you want in this what will happen in this scenario is you're gonna list the customers um, based on the primary key, which is the customer number, and when we run the query, it would look at both tables and say, okay, based on the primary key, bring us back a set of data that we have asked for. So in each scenario of these four examples we're just going to run this two lines here which brings back the original set of data so we'll be able to see actual fact what's going on but the real niche in this is these four lines so here what we're doing is we're basically saying bring us back the customer number from the left table which i'll show you in a second the customer type and the invoice number and the invoice number is from the second table and so the, the left table is the customer okay which is this here and the right table is the sales which has the sales information on it and we're basically saying how we join these two tables, which is the key and the crux of this, is this line here. And we're basically joining on the customer number. And the customer number is the primary query, which has the unique values associated with each customer. Okay, so if we run this now, okay, here we have, um, so this is the left table here I've described. So this is the customer table, um, and it basically gives the unique customer number, and it basically gives you the customer type. Here's the right table, which is this line here, okay? And this is the sales. So these customers have um, either whatever medium they've done it through, telephone, web, whatever, made a sale of amount of that, and that's the invoice number, okay? So we've joined these two tables. This inner join, what it does is it basically looks at left table here, and then looks at right table here, and says what's common to both, and what we'll do is we'll bring everything back there, okay? So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to one, two, three, four, five, nine, on um, both tables are common, okay? So that has basically brought back those four records and the additional information that's also brought back is the invoice number. So it's also brought back this column values here, one invoice one all the way up to five. So that's an example of where you only want to bring back tables that are common to both, information that's common to both tables and then basically, if there's additional information that's associated with that and say the right table, uh, you can actually bring that information as well. So it's very handy, um, especially when you want to figure out actually what's common to both. Uh, so let's move on now, and we're gonna look at the next query. And we're gonna look at the left joins. So essentially what we looked here, look, when we go back here, it's your left table and your right table. Okay, so this, as we said, brought everything back that's common to both tables. What we want to do now is say, we want to run a query that basically brings everything back in the left table, but brings also back information uh, for records from the right table. 
um, based on what we've defined in this row here, again, this line here. So again, we're joining both tables on the primary key, and the primary key, as I said, is unique information to both. So if I run this now, okay. Now, what it's basically doing here is, it's so, just as to walk through this, it's again, it's basically bringing back customer number type from the left table, which is the customer table, and again, the invoice number, okay? And it's as, then it's saying left join with the sales, okay? Which is the right table. So it's basically saying left join, so take the left table, everything that's in the left table, and then join it with the right table, which is the sales table here, this one here, and bring me back all the information and join them on basically how we retrieve information about again is through the primary key which is the customer number so as you can see what this actually does is first when it runs is pulls all this information in here and then it also says okay hey we know that one two three four five six two and all the way up to one two three four five nine is common to both so it brings in these values and then it says in addition, because we've asked to do the left join, it also brings in all these values here. So from row five here, brings all those values in here on the left table in as well, okay? As you can see now, there is scenario, invoice number um, is not a primary key field. So there is this scenario, actually, if this was a live, you'd be kind of saying, well, we have customer here, they've the customer type is web but this these customers have invoice no invoice number so your classic example of how this may help you in your business is you could say well um actually we haven't sold any of these customers these are customers we could target so there's an example of how you could use this in your business to target customers so that's an example of a left join um so let's move on and again we're going to do the next one is going to be right joins so left joins took takes everything, so this is the opposite of the left joins, so it takes everything from the right table and brings it in, and then if there's any additional information, it will also bring it in. So let's just actually run the code here. So the scenario here is, this is your left table, so all these, this one here, this is your right table, this information here, so left table, right table, okay? But it's different in the first, in the left join, it just brought everything in here from the left table, but in this scenario, because it's the right join, it's only going to bring in all these values here, okay? So when we run this query, it's going to be different to the output of this because we're only saying, hey, we only want um, customers from the right joint, customers from the, all the customers from the right table, and then basically, obviously join them, join them with the left table as well, anything that's matching based on the criteria here. So you wouldn't expect to get these additional values here on the left table coming in because they're not actually they're not actually on the right table okay so that brings you gives you that output there all right so our final um join we're going to do is what they call a full join and essentially this what this is basically going to do is we'll actually run it here now and we'll talk through it so it's pr it's pretty much the same output as a left join and what it is basically doing is bringing back everything in the right table and the left table. And it's basically saying, give me everything, I want to see everything matching and unmatching. So it's a handy way to actually just get a full picture of what's on your data set. As I said, you could also, you get the same output here to the left joins. Um, but yeah, this is the full, full join. So again, what it's doing is um, just bringing back the customer type invoice number um, and it's basically saying from the sales okay and it's basically joining on the sales here and then again what it's doing is it's saying what is the we're using the primary key again which is customer number to join the tables and give us the information we need so today we've just covered off in summary covered off four different ways to actually join tables um, so just go back here very quickly. Inner joins brings everything back that's just similar to everything on the table um, between the two tables, that's all. Left joins brings everything on the left join and everything, brings everything from your left join and all any match from the right table, okay? 
Right join then brings everything from the right table and any matching records from the left table, if there is any. And then full join basically brings back everything in the right table, um, matching and unmatching. So essentially, if you like this video today, great. Um, thanks for coming along. Um, as I said at the start, we do a lot of posts for around data analytics, um, data analysts, we do stuff, uh, doing stuff from data visualization, and we also live stream, and there's one actually coming up soon after this video. So I hope you liked the video. We'll see you soon, and thanks for popping along. It's great to have you, and look after yourself. Take care, goodbye.